The borough of Brent is one of the most ethnically diverse in the UK and one of the hardest hit by coronavirus. Okay, you know Gujarati? Gujarati Mabre? Okay, Gujarati Mabre. Brent has mobilised multilingual ambassadors alongside its council staff to combat a worryingly high rate of resistance to taking the vaccine amongst its many ethnic communities. And people I met here who were reluctant to take the vaccine were open about why. I need to know more information about it. And obviously once I know more, then I can consider it. I will not take the vaccine. But you may be exposing others to their death. Is there anything the government could do to convince you? So you believe anything that the government and its scientists would tell you, you believe that? You won't take it. The reason why you take a vaccine is because so I don't get infected and I don't pass that infection to on anyone else. I think they are scared of taking it if the, if the vaccine doesn't work on their body. The Makkah Mosque in Leeds, despite the socially distanced Friday prayers, is just one avenue to try to convince people to trust the government's advice that taking the vaccine is needed to save lives. Scholars, doctors, scientists, but whether it's from the pulpits or from the webinars he does, Imam Kari says it comes back to one simple problem. I've noticed that amongst the young people there is a lack of trust of authorities. Uh, and you know, I've come across people who've said that, well, they don't care whether or not the vaccine is safe, but they don't trust the source where it's coming from. So I've realized that actually the messenger is as important in this pandemic as the message that we're delivering. I heard the same thing from his Christian counterpart, Pastor Alton Bell. He says his community's distrust of government has accumulated over decades, from vaccine experiments on black Americans without their knowledge in the 50s, to the Windrush scandal and Grenfell. Where does this lack of trust come from? Well, it's not in the science, that's number one. Because, so the lack of trust comes from those in authority. They're suspicious of the vaccine because of uh, mainly historical antecedent. They want black people to take the, this vaccine and, and not explaining to them what the benefits are and what the risks are. Because, you know, black people aren't stupid. We know uh, what the risk-benefit analysis are. Hello, namaste, sasrikal, salam alaikum. Efforts to combat misinformation about the virus in minority communities has also gone online, with some of Britain's best-known figures taking part in videos trying to dispel fears about the vaccine, as well as medics working on the front line. As coronavirus's death toll passes 100,000, ITV News has been reporting how black, Asian and ethnic minority Britons are still amongst those paying the highest price in this second wave. I spoke to the minister in charge of overseeing vaccinations and I asked him why minority communities were not being prioritised in getting the vaccine. The Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunisation uh, looked at this and looked at BAME and, and of course a disproportionate uh, uh, number of people who were being infected and then ending up in hospital and dying from COVID. And they fell you know, very, very clearly on, on the side that actually the, the, the greatest link is age. However, the new independent NHS Race and Health Observatory body says the focus has to be on race as well as age. You've said that this is uh, a matter, as you said, of, of life and death. Why did you, why did you put it in those terms and, and, and tell us why? We know that black and minority ethnic communities are at higher clinical risk from COVID-19. We need to act now and support those vulnerable communities. What the guidance says is that inequalities need to be identified, including those related to ethnicity, and addressed in the implementation of the vaccination programme. Again, the question is, is whether that recommendation is being actually followed. Unless the government and community leaders can focus on the urgent issues that make Britain's minority ethnic groups vulnerable to the virus, they will continue to suffer more than their fellow Britons in a pandemic that's laid bare the inequalities in British society. Ragioma News at 10.